Hey there, doll collectors. So, I'm in my doll room. It is a disaster. The only clear area is actually the closet because underneath is the opening to access the bottom of the house. And, oh, about a month ago or two, <laughs> um, we had to have someone come and access it, so I had to move everything over. And I had this nice and filled you know, with boxes and tubbies and everything. And now all of that is in the middle of the room and there's just this little pathway to walk. Uh, so this looks more like a hoarder's nightmare than an actual doll collecting room for a functioning adult. So, um, anyway, I wanted to share some things that um, have actually been uh, gifted to me. This is kind of like a, a gift haul, but these have all been acquired over just a, a little span of time. So the first one is this little blind box. It's called Micro Toy Box Miniature Collectibles. And, you know, my husband, he uh, found it in the, the aisle where you check out, you know, candy, candy bars, Kinder Eggs, things like that. So while picking up something for our daughter, he saw this and, he was, and immediately saw the little toy on top and was like, yes, because the way that Micro Toy Box does, there's four that are in packages, but there's one that's on top and they have this little clear tray. So you have it set on top with the toy inside so you can at least see one and know, hey, I like that one enough. So of that one, I ended up with a miniature light bright. It's just a sticker. It doesn't have any uh, studs or lights up or anything, but it's still cute. And I used to have one as a kid. The game Connect Four. Uh, unlike the Zuru Five Surprise brand, it's not a cardboard box. This is actually a chunk of plastic. So this is this is solid. Got a container of Lincoln Logs. It does not open, but it looks like it would my favorite a totally hair Barbie but she's just in a solid pink dress it doesn't have the swirls on it and a nerf gun so and also with this you get a sticker of another toy so I was like, oh, that's so cool. I need to get more of these the next time, you know, we go to Walmart. And of course, you know, the next time we go to Walmart, I completely forget about it. <laughs> Until, not yesterday, but the day before. And I found one. And on the top, the toy was Bumblebee from the Transformers. And if you slide the card stock out of the packaging, it's an actual figure. It's not just a front with a flat back. And he's on his own little clear base. Wonder. Okay, no, he's not removable. Now, where I live, uh, I live in Oklahoma. And uh, where my in-laws live, actually, in their town, there are two, um, I wanna say life-size replicas of Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. And you can go and get your picture taken with them. And you can actually feel the the size difference when you don't even, like, come up to their ankle. Because they're just that tall. But there have been two of them built. And so I've actually had my picture taken in front of this Bumblebee um, replica statue. I haven't done the um, Optimus Prime one because that's on the opposite side of the town they live in. I really only go there on occasion um, just for things and so it's like it's kind of a it's enough doing that <laughs> but my daughter she got a, her picture taken with Optimus Prime when she was um, a couple years older uh, younger and she's got the Santa Claus hat on they had like a Santa hat I think a wreath on Optimus and she's just like yeah! I need mean, Jesus this little teeny thing and I'm just like holy crap those things really are gigantic anyway that aside, I have a double of Totally Hair Barbie. So I was thinking, cool, maybe I can paint this one to look like Teresa. Give her brown hair and the blue dress. 
I also have another double of a Nerf gun, but hey, the more the merrier when it comes to these. And another game. This is Candyland, one of my favorites. And it's also plastic. And then I got the glow worm. I was so happy because I had this one as a child. Now, I was looking over the checklist. So, turns out Glowworm is the mystery toy. Yeah. Some are common, some are scarce, some are rare, but Glowworm is the mystery toy. I was so happy about that. I was like, really? Uh, but I, I hand this to my husband and I'm all like, tell me where you can find the Glowworm, you know? And what I don't get is that when it comes to the Rock'em Sock'ems, so you see here blue, he's labeled blue. That's common. But silver, that's rare. And so the red one is harder to come by than the blue one, which doesn't make sense. They should both be the same commonality. And the uh, Totally Hair one is uh, what they call scarce or uncommon, while the Malibu is common, and yet I've got two of this one. And there's a whole bunch more. Uh, other games, ponies, uh, other little toys and stuff. So I, I'm actually looking more for these now than I am for uh, Zuru 5 Surprise. Unless they're like, you know, the, the Disney ones. Because then I'm all like, yeah, I can go for either Marvel or Star Wars or Disney. Anyway, that aside. Okay. So yes. Um, I recently got another... Uh, Barbie extra and right now I've, I've redressed her. This is a uh, number nine. I think this is the one that came with the alligator She's wearing the glasses that come with that Zuru Fashion surprise. So these are actually functioning sunglasses Okay, those fold up and I'm just like wow all it takes is just one little cute hinge and these actually work. And I love these. I wish Mattel would do this for Barbie. And it came with this purse. Nice shiny leopard print. And there's actually a magnet here. Where you can see where the chain was gathered. And um, it also came with a makeup brush. Which I stuffed in here. And the makeup brush actually has real bristles very soft ones too so the pet that comes with these um was a chihuahua i gave it to my daughter i don't really do the animals too much but these things um go for like ten dollars um they have been marked down to seven uh at the moment so i'm hoping that uh i can find another one that's seven dollars but my my husband's aunt actually stuff this in a little Barbie accessory pack in our mailbox with a with a text saying, hey, hey, hey I got you something. It's in your mailbox. <laughs> like, okay, thank you. But um, with this one being a curvy um, in her, her face sculpt, very nice sculpt. I've already done a review on her, but I put these shades on because um, um, I wasn't really digging the star ones that they gave her but it just looked really cool and plus I got this like right after I got her so with me my newest she's my model for that and then um, last but not least hubby also went to the Dollar Tree and it was a little shopping day for him and my daughter and so he comes back he's got this umbrella and this outdoor furniture playset so he got one for me and one for her and I've already opened hers up and helped her set it up and so I didn't feel the need to do that for mine but in case this is new to you I will demonstrate Alright, so here's the table, and then here's the chair, and the thing about the chairs is that both the seating and the backing are the same size, so it doesn't really matter 
what piece you pick. Uh, there's the two holes and it just, the chair piece just goes right into those pegs. So you can't go wrong. And then you have a little table. Now the umbrella, it has a little umbrella stand and you're supposed to put it into the center of that. Here's the curvy Barbie to show the size. Um, the hole for this, as you can see, is not very deep. This little peg is just, you know, about as long as my fingernail. And so, because this is plastic, even though it's lightweight, the stem does not go down far enough to keep the um, umbrella up. And so, I told my daughter, I'm going to have to, like, drill a hole through that table, and then we're going to have to glue it in place in order for this to stay on because it's it's not going to on its own. And I mean, I get it. It's a dollar. You're getting your money's worth. This is fine on its own. And you know, if you glue it in place to make sure that it doesn't come separated, I mean, it's it's you know, it's, it's lightweight, but it's still a little cumbersome. And you could still put it in something. But trying to get it into this, there's just no give. There's, there's just not enough. And so it, it won't stay. So even though it fits, that's not really like enough. Like I've got, I've got mine in, it's a little snug, but I think if they went it down, they went down just a little bit further, it would be better because if you're playing with this outside, you know, one good breeze will probably just tip it over. So mine, mine's a little sturdy, but I don't think it's uh, going to be sturdy enough. But anyway. Yeah. So it works. So anyway, those are all items that I've, I've collected over like the past month that I haven't really thought to open up and share because, you know, um, you know, the first one was just kind of a surprise and the other one just, you know, ended up being a surprise. And this one was just like, I felt unnecessary. So, but with all of these all gathered up together, I felt maybe I can go ahead and just do a small gift haul and show them all together, which I really like. And I am, I'm, I'm really digging these real little fat, not real little, uh, Zuru uh, fashions because this is actually good quality. You have actual real metal chain. You've got grommets, faux leather, and you know a really beautiful print that goes all the way around, and it's functional. So it's not just a hunk of plastic that hangs off of Barbie's arm. This, you know, I've got leopard print furniture, your furniture fashions that this could match. So, yeah. It's, it's pretty superior, but I know there's not a lot of options, so you're more prone to getting doubles than anything. So I have to be careful about not going overboard. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this little collective mosh posh um, of stuff. Hopefully I will have a more cohesive uh, video the next time around. And maybe finally get around to fixing up my room since we no longer have to worry about getting to the underneath the house. And so, yes, I would love to be able to do a proper doll room tour like I've been promising to do when I came back tonight. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. But, you know. All right, so thank you. Love you guys. Stay tuned.